What is up my dude and dudettes, and welcome back to TellerTube. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the subreddit r slash I don't work here lady. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. With that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. No, I don't work here, but it's fun to pretend I do. Okay, a while ago I was at a local aquarium with a few friends who were new to the area. I've always been a keen animal person I learned to read from basic animal fact books, and I'm full of weird and wonderful facts about Australia's wildlife. This definitely extends into the marine world too, you might be able to see where this is going. Since my new friends are from the distant land of America, I took the opportunity to share my Aussie Ocean wisdom with them as we walk through the aquarium. I always wear a cap that says Living Reef Ranger on it, so I don't blame the people for what happened next at all. In fact, I think it's a bit funny and I'm actually proud of myself. As I'm explaining the social interactions of clownfish to my friends, I notice a mom with a couple 8-12 to 12 year old kids with her listening to what I'm saying. I ignore her and keep talking on with my mates. But then one of the kids asks me a question about it. I happily explain since everyone should know about the nature. As kids do, he asks a few follow up questions and I explain in simple manner so they can understand. He politely thanks me and goes back to his mom. My mates and I think it's a bit cute but we sort of brush it off and move on to the next section. But the family follows. And not only them, a couple others too. I am now giving a tour of this aquarium, and I am loving it. I get to completely nerd out with all my animal facts, I feel so smart, I have the power. Until a youngish teen girl, 15, asks me how to get a job at the aquarium because she wants to be a marine biologist. I inform her, and hence the other people around me, that I don't actually know because I don't work here. A few people look surprised and a few people leave my tour, but I happily carried on. When we finished up, my friends thought it was hilarious, people thought I was giving a tour, but said they felt privileged since it was free and they were the VIPs. It's a costume. No, really. My office had a Halloween themed sales event today where everyone had to come in costume. Since I don't usually otherwise dress up for Halloween and didn't want to burn money on a single use costume, I asked a mechanic friend if I could borrow one of his jumpsuits from work and he obliged. This was good both because it was a free costume and because it had a comedic element. Anyone who works with me knows I have a medical condition that disqualifies me from driving, so have never owned a car, let alone worried about car maintenance. So I was at a bus stop on the side of the road in my costume when a frantic woman runs up to me. Frantic woman. Sir, excuse me, my car broke down and I have no idea what's wrong. I'm headed into work and really can't wait for a tow. Would you mind taking a look? Oh, <laughs> sorry, this is actually just a costume. Do I look like I was born yesterday? No, really, I'm headed to a Halloween thing. At 8 a.m. on a Monday? Look, if you don't want to help me, be a man enough to say so. Don't go making up a wild story. I can't help you. I don't even drive. I've never owned a car. I'd help if I could. A mechanic who's never owned a car? Why are you jerking me around? I am not a mechanic. This is a costume. I've got a baby in there. You're going to let a baby sit in a hot car because you're too lazy to take a quick peek under my hood? Thought you said you were going to work. That is besides the point. Are you going to help me or no? I can't. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not stupid. I didn't say you were stupid. I said I'm not a mechanic. I'm going to call your boss and tell him all about this. You better believe I'm posting it on Yelp too. You don't think it's the least bit strange that a car mechanic is here at a bus stop. Turn around. Let me see where you work. My buddy's company logo is on the back of the suit and his name is embroidered on front. Whatever, fine. She dials and puts it on speaker. You have two seconds to change your mind. You're about to get fired. I doubt that. You don't know where I work. She sputters inaudibly. My buddy's boss. Generic auto shop. How can I help? Yes, my car is broken down on the side of the road and your mechanic won't help me get it started. Uh, ma'am, are you sure you've got the right shop name? We don't offer roadside assistance. Well, I didn't call for roadside assistance, but he's right here and refuses to help me. Ma'am, mechanics don't have to do anything outside the shop or off the clock. You want a roadside assistance recommendation or... 
You don't understand. He offered to take a look and took $20 from me and now isn't doing anything. He's just standing refusing to help me. First of all, bold-faced lie. I've rarely seen an adult lie so shamelessly out of nowhere. Second, if I just ripped her off for $20, why would I still be there? It wasn't even a well-conceived lie. Oh, well we can't have that. You're sure it was one of my guys? Did you catch his name tag? It says Mike. Calling to someone in the back. Hey, did Mike leave? My buddy Mike. Nah boss, what's up? Listen, I don't know who this is, but don't you be prank calling this line again. He hangs up and I just smile dumbly. Uh, anything else I can help you with? You're all just grease monkeys. Thank God I went to college and will never be stuck in a job like this and have morals and wouldn't leave a woman stranded on the side of the road and play such a mean trick and... She was still going as I got on the bus. I called the shop to explain once I got on the bus and we all had a good laugh. And my friend said I should post on here. So here I am. I don't usually use Reddit, so sorry for anything out of place or incorrect. <laughs> Nothing better than a frantic Karen saying, Why can't you help me? I'm not your Uber. Okay, I was picking my girlfriend up at the airport. This was a few years ago. Uber was already big, but not as big as it is now. Our nearest airport is in a major city, so it's always hectic picking somebody up. The cops and yellow vest traffic guys don't like you waiting around at all. So I get there and it's taking my girlfriend a few minutes longer to get her checked bags than we anticipated. I'm on the phone with her and she says, I see it, I see it, I've gotta go, don't leave. So the traffic vest guy is waving at me and I roll down my window and say, I'm picking somebody up, she's just on her way, etc. Trying to buy myself some time. I hear my trunk open and I'm so relieved. She jumps in the back and I thought it was a little weird but she took a red eye and I figured she was just going to lie down in the back and go back to sleep. I say something along the lines of, oh perfect timing, how was your flight? And I couldn't hear her response. It was super loud with the honking and cops shouting so she closes the door and I'm so focused on trying to find a spot to pull out. I don't even look back, I just say, you good? And she says, mm-hmm. And as I'm pulling out, I'm thinking, wait. And as I'm driving away, I look in the back and realize this woman is not my girlfriend. It's some teenage kid. I'm freaking out as I'm driving away and desperately looking for a spot to pull over. But by this point, I'm in the middle of the lane with rushing outflow of traffic. And when I finally saw a space, a cop or just a traffic director, I couldn't tell, very aggressively told me I couldn't stop there. While I'm trying to pull over, I'm like, who are you? She goes, uh, Molly. Molly, I don't know you. What is this? What are you doing? You were expecting to know me? I'm so confused at this point, my heart is racing and it's all I can do to not crash my car because it's 4am and a strange kid got in my car at the airport. And my first thought was I was being framed for a crime or something. I didn't know what to think. Why are you in my car? I'm pulling over. Why are you pulling over? I don't know you. What? What? What is going on? Is this because it's a long trip? You can't cancel because of where I'm going, that's not allowed. I take a few seconds to try and figure out what she's talking about while merging into a busy highway. Then it hits me. I am not your Uber. What? I'm pulling over. You're lying. Why would I lie about that? Look, look at your app. Does the driver look like me? I don't know, it's blurry. You're driving a Toyota Camry. You are my Uber, don't lie to me. There were a dozen Toyotas back there, how could you be so dumb that you'd get into a stranger's car without checking first? At this point, she starts crying and I feel bad for snapping. Look, I'm sorry, I just don't want to appear on the news as man drives teenage girl away from airport or anything and you really caught me by surprise, I'm sorry, I should not have yelled. I'm going to circle back around to the airport. I have to pick up my girlfriend anyways, so I'll bring you back and... No. No? No! Let me out! Let me out! She starts grabbing at the door handle of the moving car. Thankfully, it locks automatically when I start driving. Oh my god, what are you doing? I don't know you! My worst nightmare coming true. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's a mistake. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm taking you back to the airport. She's crying again. This might be a bit of an overreaction, okay? It's fine, I'm not dangerous, I'm just clueless. Look, look, I'm going back to the airport, see? I'm taking the exit. 
You knew? Knew what? You knew you weren't my Uber? Truly and totally my worst freaking nightmare ever coming true in this moment. No, 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 I did not. I'm taking you to the airport. See? See? Terminal sign, we are like three minutes away. Seriously. Stop! I can't stop here. This is a highway. There wasn't even a shoulder. Her, crying. Stop, stop, let me out. I don't believe you. Stop, I don't believe you. I literally couldn't have stopped my car where we were without serious risk of causing a major accident. And it was not a safe place for a person to walk or even stand, so I was stuck. I'm calling 911. I'm calling 911 if you don't let me out. Look, we are a minute from the airport. You can see the terminal. Look. She continues sobbing. We get there, I park, and thank god she didn't call the cops. And I see my many missed calls and texts from my poor girlfriend. This girl bolts out of my car screaming. Help, help, help! Cops and guys in yellow vests, whatever they are, surround my car. I'm taken for questioning and it takes so long that my car is almost towed. Thankfully, they allowed my girlfriend to park it. Thankfully, it created such a spectacle that my girlfriend was able to notice this happening and vouch for my being at the airport to pick her up, and not pose as an Uber driver to abduct a teenage kid, and park my car. By the end, the misunderstanding was completely sorted out and the girl had calmed down and she and her parents over the phone apologized and explained it was her first time traveling alone or being in a large city and she was on edge. They never came right out and admitted fault, but they did say they wished there hadn't been such a misunderstanding. Now I can look back and laugh, but at the time it was one of the scariest things I've ever experienced, and it was months until I could stop my car with the doors unlocked again. Well, to be fair, he probably should have looked in the rearview mirror to begin with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button as it would really help me out, subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.